What's up, guys? So, um, I was actually, this is the first time I've ever been tagged in some sort of like, you know, video response chain type thing. Um, I was tagged by Radicus. Uh, the tag included uh, 80s, five questions from the 80s that uh, you need to answer. Um, so, and basically, I have to answer the five questions and then I have to tag five other people and hopefully they'll answer the questions and then tag five others and tag five others and we'll just, you know, keep it going, keep it going good. So it's my turn to go. This is my first uh, response video, like I said, as far as this kind of uh, thing goes. So forgive me if, uh, you know, I don't really do it that well, but this is my first one. Um, I got I got informed about this the other day, but I didn't really have time. I wanted to think about it, you know, and come up with, you know, the truth and w really what I wanted, to, I wanted to get my words right. So today at work, um, I kind of typed up a little bit of my answers and I got them right here in front of me, so I'm just going to kind of read it off to you. Um, and uh, hopefully you guys, you know, find it amusing. <laughs> so the first question is, what's your favorite 80s TV show? Um, I don't really remember many TV shows from the 80s. I was born in 85, so, you know, it's kind of... It's kind of a blur to me as far as TV shows go. I remember a lot of other things, but you know, I wasn't really much of a TV watcher in the 80s. But what I can tell you is my cousins who are older, they watch TV because you know they were older, and I kind of watched what they watched and liked what they liked. So uh, to answer your question, my favorite 80s TV show has to be The A Team. Um, I don't remember much about watching TV shows in the 80s, but I do remember being into whatever my cool older cousins were into, and they used to love The A Team. So that means. I love the A-Team. I remember the opening theme song like it was yesterday. So, yeah, there you go. The A-Team is definitely the answer on that one. Very catchy uh, theme song. I also remember the white dude with the cigar in his mouth uh, all the time kicking ass. So that was cool. And Mr. T was in it. He was one bad motherfucker with an attitude. Making this my favorite 80s TV show. The second question is uh, your favorite 80s movie. Now, uh, no questions asked, no doubt about it. I know the answer to this one, and it's definitely He-Man, Masters of the Universe. Hands down, He-Man's Masters, Masters of the Universe, the movie, man. That shit was awesome back in the day. I used to run around the house and just, I used to run around the house just in my underwear, so I guess me and He-Man could relate. <laughs> Back then, there was nothing like a man in his underwear kicking ass out of evil. As a kid, I never realized how gay he meant actually was. I thought he was cool, and even though I now realize he's gay, hence the name He-Man, I still think he's awesome, and don't think of him any less. So many people make fun of me for still liking He-Man till this day, but all I can tell those people is fuck you, He-Man's awesome. He-Man kicks ass, He-Man kicks the shit out of evil with a fucking sword. By the power of Grayskull, motherfuckers. <laughs> Alright, so that's my answer to uh, the second question. Third question. My favorite 80s cartoon. Now, uh, I want to say Captain Planet, because that, man, I, I even dressed up as Captain Planet back in the day for Halloween one year. My aunt made me the costume, and I was the coolest motherfucker in school, man. He man, uh, he man. <laughs> Captain Planet all the way. But unfortunately, Captain Planet came out in 1990, so... I can't use Captain Planet as the answer to this question. Um, I also would like to say He-Man again because the cartoon was awesome too. But I don't want to say He-Man uh, twice, you know. So I'm gonna go with uh, Inspector Gadget, man. Inspector Gadget was awesome. I love that show. Um, now what I wrote down was uh, so I'm gonna go with Inspector Gadget as the best cartoon. I think I love this show so much because of all his awesome inventions. Even at a young age, I found him very interesting. He had all these cool ass electronics and inventions that were way ahead of its time and I wanted all of them. I am, I am a very techie person so it's not hard to believe that I love this show even at a young age. I especially loved his rollerblades that would, uh, you know, that would go up in the air on springs when he's roll cruising down the street and you know, he'd go over cars and all types of shit man. That, I thought that was awesome. And uh, he also had a watch you know, that could communicate with, uh, with I think it was his niece. Um, you know, like digitally, you know, like satellite style, but on his watch. So, like I said, these inventions were way ahead of its time, and I just found them like mind-boggling, you know, as a kid. And I really loved Inspector Gadget. 
I also want to note um, a huge shout out to Heathcliff, man. Because Heathcliff was an awesome, awesome cartoon too. That was a close second in my opinion. Um, and the reason for that was the opening song, man. That is the best opening song to any cartoon period. It's like, Heathcliff, Heathcliff, where are you? Dun, 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 dun. It's awesome. So you should definitely Google Heathcliff opening song and just, just jam out to it, man. Because you could dance to that shit even till this day. Like, seriously, I'm not even kidding. That song is awesome. Um, so the, la the next question is my favorite 80s toy. Uh, so this one's kind of hard because I had so many toys uh, growing up, you know, from the 80s and 90s. So it's kind of hard to pin one specific toy. Um, but if I had to, it would definitely be uh, the Ninja Turtles toys, um, especially in particular the Let's Party, um, the Let's Party van. It's it's party time van. That thing I had that thing, and my God, I would cruise around the kitchen rolling that thing till the wheels fell off. It was like the size of like a Hess truck almost, and it, it held all the. It was bigger than a Hess truck, and it held all the uh, the turtles in there. You could just like cruise around, open the door, you could pop them out and shit. It was, it was definitely my one of my favorite toys. Um, I would drive that thing like I said till the wheels fell off. Um, I would also take a bunch of the Ninja Turtles in the bath with me, you know, and play with them in the bath. Um, and I would definitely just stay in there till I pruned up, you know, and or or until the uh, I clogged the drain with the, with the toys. <laughs> so you know, for the toy, for my favorite toy, it would definitely have to be the Ninja Turtles toys, <clears throat> and in particular the van, the party van. Um, also, make a note: I used to chew on Leonardo's arms until they fell off. <laughs> just so you know. Um, my favorite '80s video game. That's this is the last question. My favorite 80s video game would have to be uh, Contra. Contra came out in the 80s, so I'm going to go with Contra. Um, I used to play this game nonstop every day. I still own the original copy that I owned that, uh, that I had when I, was, when I was a kid. My cousin gave it to me back in, I don't know, maybe when I was four, so I'd say 89. And uh, I still have it. So uh, amazingly, I still have it. Uh, most of my stuff from back in the day, you know, 90% of my Nintendo games got lost, stolen, or traded in. But somehow, by the you know by the help of God, I, I got to keep Contra. I must have known, you know, even back then this game kicked ass. So, um, you know, I'm gonna have to go with Contra. I still remember the the you know the 30 life code. You know, it's uh, what is it? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Uh, B A select start. So, you know, it's just one of those things that sticks with you forever, and you know, you you never really forget it. So that's basically uh, all I got for you as far as my answers to those five questions. The only thing I have to do now is tag five five of my friends, some of my subscription subscribers uh, in here, and hope uh, that they uh, they do the same thing I'm doing right now, making a fool out of myself. <laughs> so basically, the five people uh, I'm about to say and tag in the description, you're gonna have to if you want, you know, it's no force, but you know, just do it. The five questions you're gonna have to answer are: What's your favorite '80s TV show? What's your favorite '80s movie? What's your favorite 80s cartoon? What's your favorite 80s toy? And what's your favorite 80s video game? And the five people that I'm choosing to answer those questions, and then after you answer them, you're gonna, each one of you is going to tag another five people. I'm going to choose Usagi704, El Chia Puno, or Puno, uh, forgive me if I don't say that right, but it's El Chia Puno, Super Deadite, Creeboy411, and Viper29. So you five guys, I'm going to send you a message letting you know that this is up in case you don't catch it in my subscription. And uh, hopefully, you know, you find it in your heart to uh, make a fool out of yourself like I just did. All right? So this has been fun. It's been my first, uh, you know, like I said, it tag response, keep it moving video, I guess, whatever the hell it's called. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm not gay just because I like He-Man, bro. I got a girlfriend for five years, but I just fucking love He-Man, bro. He's awesome. So... Fuck you if you don't think so. Thanks for watching.